Now, as some of you may remember, we had a video that talked about stacks versus arrays, and well, I figured that since we spoke about how much faster you can get information in, how about how much faster you can get information out? So we'll look at the big array, which is 100,000 items, and we're going to do some basic um, filtering on it, and then use that as a baseline to show the difference of how much faster we could do it in a different way. And I want to point out that I also deliberately chose uh, PowerShell 5.1, although this will work happily in 7, um, is just to give the example that this can be done in an older version. So here I'm just going to do a quick where object, in this case is greater than 400 and less than 10,000. And what we're going to do is then pipe that into a for each object, so for everything that's returned after the filter, there will then put it through to a simple uh, write output and it'll tell us the, the object number. So nothing super complicated here, but it's to demonstrate the speed differences that we can achieve. So we're just going to write the remaining output here, uh, run it to check that our filter is working and I haven't made any typos along the way. And then we'll run it again, but with the measure command in order to ascertain how fast it runs. So it's the output to command line here it will always be slightly slower if you have the output. Uh, when you do the measure command, you don't see the output. So you, you kind of get a slightly faster response, or at least it feels faster. So we've, we've done the first run. Our filter looks fine. So then we're now going to measure the command and see how exactly in terms of uh, speed performance it's running. So you see it runs and it takes 1.5 seconds, you know, or 1,500 milliseconds. So let's do the same again, but let's do it differently. So instead of doing the where object, let's do the where on the array. Uh, same filter, so we'll, we'll go ahead and keep the same content there. And then we're going to do a dot for each instead of for each object, because we can do that directly from the array as well. Um, so that then gives us exactly the same output with one exception that it's now done all on the array. Now let's see how that performs. 700. So we have effectively half the speed. So we've gone from one second to, uh, sorry, one and a half seconds to one or oh, 0 0.7. So it's 1500 to 700. I, th I would call that an improvement. I think that's a, a good start. And you imagine that this scales linearly. So 